Hey, Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews, and welcome back. And today, believe it or not, is the first full day of spring here in New Hampshire. Looks like spring to me, don't you think? Well, that's what happens when you live in New Hampshire. First day of spring, it snows. But that's okay, it'll give me a chance to go check out one of these leftover winter ales that I haven't gotten to just yet. So why don't I go do that right now? Okay, let me take off my coat. I'm inside now, outside. It's snowing inside, it's not, but I can see the snow looking out my window. And I'm going to be reviewing from Hooks at New Hampshire and White Birch Brewery. I'm going to be reviewing their Indulgence Ale. This is a black ale, sometimes known as an American Black IPA. Uh, black ales uh, are supposed to really feature the yeast and also uh, feature a nice roasted maltiness. And that's what a black ale is like. The average uh, alcohol by volume is usually uh, somewhere in the uh, mid to five, six ABV range. Could go as high as nine or ten percent in some cases. Uh, in this case, and uh, which is traditional with white birch, they tell you exactly what you're getting. Here I have a bottle that was brewed in February of 2010. And this comes from batch number one. And the ABV, uh, I'm sorry, and this is bottle number 840. And the ABV on this is 8.0% alcohol by volume. So, without further ado, I've been playing around too much, checking out the snow. Let's get right into the beer. Top comes off. Oh, I definitely notice a nice uh, aroma before I even pour this into the bottle, into the glass. Definitely the color looks good for a black ale. So you can see it. The, uh, the, the pour is really almost a pitch black to a very, very dark brown with a head that's uh, also kind of a darker tan, uh, uh, sort of a brownish darker tan look. And uh, it's, it's very opaque, uh, even up to a light, I cannot see through it very well. It almost has the appearance of, of a stout or a porter. And now let's give it a whiff. Oh, definitely. Oh yes, the aromas are, are quite evident here. A nice solid cocoa, uh, chocolate type aroma going on. And uh, the, the pleasing yeast that you, that's evident in this kind of a beer. Definitely there's that sweet yeastiness. And this is a house yeast that they use. But for sure I notice a nice, uh, uh, a nice aroma of chocolate or some kind of a dark malt for sure. Uh, almost uh, akin to uh, chocolate. I'm sorry, coffee. Almost like coffee. Anyway, let's give it a taste and see what we have. Oh, yum. Yum. I bet you want this. First of all, the body is, is very good. It's a nice uh, heavy-duty body, a heavy body. Um, it's got a lot of texture. It really fills up the mouth well and fills up the tongue well. Mmm. Swirling it around for a second, the uh, carbonation remains intact. Doesn't really uh, fizzle away into a bunch of uh, carbonated uh, bubbles. It just sort of sits there and remains in that texture uh, for a moment or so. But the taste is, um, oh, definitely, this is, uh, this definitely has a nice roastiness to it. But it doesn't have a, a high hop sensation. Some black ales are sometimes also known as black IPA ales. Uh, but uh, this one is more malty and it's very porter-like. It's got a real porter, um, heavy roastiness going on here. Mm. The yeasts balance well. Uh, leaves a kind of a, a slightly tart aftertaste. Uh, so that's probably a bit of the hops coming in from behind. Uh, just uh, sort of adding a little nice balance to the beer. Mm. Uh, indulgence Ale, that's the title, and I definitely want to indulge in this one. Uh, I really I really think this was a nice beer. It's got that full-bodied maltiness with a nice uh, uh, toasty uh, coffee-type feel to it, and um, some of those other darker-type grains that, that really come into play as well. Uh, it's just one of those uh, beers that you, it's almost like a porter. It's very close in style to a porter as far as this taste goes. 
but yet it, it's just slightly got its own distinction going on here. Mm. Oh, another thumbs up for White Birch. Uh, White Birch is uh, now is uh, distributing more and more outside of New Hampshire. So those who uh, can't get to New Hampshire might be able to find it in places like Massachusetts. And I think it's getting into uh, Vermont and Maine a bit, I'm, I think. I know for sure it's in parts of Massachusetts. But anyway, that's White Birch Indulgence Ale. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.